Megan and Harry continue to bring to the commentary table. This wicked couple seems to have no way back to the UK because they have certainly reached the tolerance limit of the UK public by making so many public accusations against the royal family and in doing so shocking the entire world. Harry lost his mind after he married Meghan Markle. We're going to analyze the specifics in this video and remember to watch the whole video or else you might miss out on something. An op-ed writer is claiming that the British public could possibly forgive Prince Harry for his public feud with the royal family because they have witnessed his journey from birth. But Meghan, probably not. Before Harry met Meghan and ran away to the US, remember he served in the military for 10 years and he undertook two tours of Afghanistan. Journalist Nathan Kay was commenting on Harry working hard to serve his country, and he said he embodied a typical carefree rebel who cherished his homeland, took pride in serving his country, and held his family dear. However, that all changed when he met Meghan Markle, or as I've come to call her, Narkel, with a narcissist in mind. Okay, so first things first, of course Harry is never going to be welcomed back to the UK with or without Meghan on his arm. He has shown himself to be a pathetic excuse for a man. Now, when he was younger, he was this party playboy prince, and he really disappointed his family. Again and again, though, Harry was protected during his little stint in the military. He was not some brave warrior. And ever since he met Meghan, who seems to have been little more than a surrogate mother to him, Harry has just allowed her to control his life, taking his limelight for her own ends. Now, the passing of his mother has been used as an excuse for his nasty behavior for way too long now. There are so many people who have lost someone very close in tragic circumstances. And they grieve, of course, but unlike Harry, they eventually move on with their lives. Just look at Meghan at her own wedding in front of the world, but she had only one single person there from her family sitting all by herself, and the rest of the people Meghan invited were A-list celebrities she didn't even know. And Harry, it looks like, has now become the same. He married a toxic grifter, and he also became a toxic grifter. Look, I don't know if people are ever going to forgive Harry for marrying Meghan Markle, but also the problem is, even if he's not married to her anymore, Harry is just as much to blame for everything that's happened as Meghan is. And look, I understand why Harry was so easy for Meghan to manipulate. He's not very smart, but still, he has got to be held accountable for what he's done. And I guess all of Meghan's royal mistakes can be explained as being unfamiliar with royal protocol, but Harry just let her do stuff like walk in front of him, push him to the side so that she could greet people first, and he let her attend events where she was not dressed appropriately at all, and it seemed like he never was able to correct her. I understand she wouldn't have listened to him anyway, but still, Harry just allowed all her behavior, and that gave her a chance to continue with it. She married for money and she married for status, but Harry is equally to blame in this. I also don't think it matters anymore if Harry is married to Meghan or not. It's not going to make any difference. It's a lot worse what Harry has done because he knows better. He whines as often as he can about what happened to his late mother, and then he turns around and creates a whole media frenzy towards poor Catherine, the Princess of Wales. And that's just one of the many things he has done to harm his family. Of course, no one can trust him. But I don't think it's going to matter whether or not Harry gets dumped by Meghan Markle. It's not going to make any difference to my opinion I have of him. It's going to remain very low indeed. I will continue to see him as a very self-absorbed individual who lived an incredibly lucky lifestyle, but who developed no redeeming features at all in his personality. And if I never saw Harry's face again, I'd probably be happy. I don't think Harry, though, has the cojones to walk away from Meghan. I think that he is completely wrapped around her little finger. Now, maybe Harry will be tolerated, but his behavior and the stuff he has said can never be forgiven or forgotten by the public. So, Harry, you can say sayonara to your home country. People there never want to see you again. And why would it be easier to forgive Harry if he divorces Meghan? I don't think it would be. I mean, what, people are going to want him back just for old time's sake? I don't think so. So he can stay in California with Megan, and once he comes to the UK, he's going to be all alone, and then he's going to get everything he has coming to him. It's not just one thing that Harry has done wrong. I mean, it's many, many things. I just don't think the good people of the UK are ever going to put up with the two of them, thanks to the vitriol they heaped upon the late Queen and Prince Philip during that horrible Winfrey interview. 
And as for the Invictus games, I mean, why should Harry and Meghan get to claim donated money for their ridiculous expenses when it's supposed to be there for the veterans? I mean, come on, get real. But it looks like the men in gray Harry loves to talk bad about actually did a great job of hiding his nasty habits. But now that Harry has quit the firm, we see who he really is, and it's not a pretty sight. He's never going to be forgiven. He has had the mother and father of all toddler temper tantrums, and he achieved basically as much success as a toddler would. Whatever happens within the privacy of the royal family is their business. But when it comes to Harry being a public figure and a working royal, never going to happen. Look, I don't know the exact figures of how much money Harry inherited. I don't know if he got everything before he married Meghan or if he's still going to get some later on, but I know Meghan has spent a lot of it. I mean, that McMansion they bought was ridiculous. Like the two of them were ever going to receive that number of guests in a house the size of a hotel. Come on. And I assume he still got enough so that he won't need to work a day for the rest of his life. But, of course, Megan's busy spending it, so I don't know. She knows that she's never going to become successful in Hollywood, and that's why she was so desperate to land herself a rich British man. Of course, Harry is not as rich as she thought he was, so things got a little complicated. But I think that is part of the reason that she's considering letting Harry move back to the UK. And, of course, she's going to come with him so she can get her grubby paws on some of that royal cash. But the late queen already said it. Either you are in or you are out. And Harry and Meghan chose out, so they can't come back. They can come to visit, sure. But long term, no, it's not going to work. And I think Charles is smart enough to understand the British public could turn against the monarchy if he allows Harry and Meghan back into the fold. I don't think he's going to do that. And what about what Harry said in that stupid book, Spare? that he had his father's car in his sights and he could have pulled the trigger and mud-eared his own father. Why would he even say something like that? I mean, and then he said that he called it off and he pulled away in the helicopter, allowing his father to live another day. What kind of sick individual brags about something like that? Who would let him back into the royal family? Honestly, the royal should be scared of Harry. He has got to take responsibility for his decisions and he could have easily said no. In the past, Harry was the one who sat and watched while Meghan Markle made fun of the Queen with that disgraceful curtsy. He just sat there. He didn't do a thing. So he really has been as bad as Meghan in his hatred of royal life. Before he met Meghan, Harry did serve in the military for 10 years, but the truth is he was in the bunker the whole time playing video games. He would only sit on the military equipment for photo ops. So why do you think they called him Bunker Harry and a few other choice names that I'm not going to repeat? I wish that more soldiers would speak out and talk about what it was really like serving with Harry. But after he showed so much disrespect to the royal family, after he stole the sweet nickname of the beloved Queen Elizabeth II and made all kinds of false claims against the royal family, he should understand there are consequences. And I don't know if healing is ever going to be possible. Even if it is, it's going to take a very long time. This relentless drama of the same topic and contrived by the publicity team of Meghan Markle is no longer going to sway public opinion after the true character of Meghan Markle has been exposed to the whole world and the true character of Harry too as a more than willing puppet of Meghan. It's obvious. The reality is, it doesn't matter if Harry gets divorced from Meghan or not. He is the one who was so disrespectful towards the British people. He couldn't have what his older brother had, and he tried to get people on his side to gang up against the monarchy, and of course he failed. And now, supposedly, he's wanting to return, and the public are just going to have to accept it. It's not going to happen. I mean, Meghan and Harry are evil. He sold his family down the river for cash, and he encouraged Meghan to attack his family and tell so many disgusting lies. So sure, Harry, go ahead and divorce her, but still, he's never going to work as a royal again. And you know, honestly, I don't think Harry and Meghan even know what the word respect means. I don't even think they know how it's spelled. Both of them have trashed the family time and time again. They have trashed the people of Britain... But I guess in the fantasy world they live in, they're always right. They're the good ones. I mean, they obviously don't comprehend anything. 
How disingenuous, too, for Harry and Meghan to try to get some attention in the media by sending well wishes for Catherine. I mean, come on, after everything they have done? So completely lacking in empathy and respect for the Prince and Princess of Wales, they couldn't be bothered to use their proper names or titles. And honestly, is it even a good thing for the royal family if they divorce? I mean, they're going to gradually just continue to move down the line of succession in a very natural way. The royal family, I would think, are thrilled that Meghan took Harry off their hands. Perhaps the best thing is if they just stay together. It looks like only they are really compatible. If they get divorced, I think it's going to be scary because each of them are going to be lashing out even more and trying to hurt society. They need to be locked up together. But as for whether or not I'm ever going to forgive Harry with or without Meghan Markle, well, no, I'm never going to forgive him, period. He made his choices. He made his bed. He needs to lie in it. And he has never, ever shown any regret. It has been attack after attack. Harry has never even given his own children a thought of how this is going to affect them, if they're real. But eventually, he's going to find out. So once more, I'm going to emphasize that Harry will not be forgiven even if he's not with Meghan anymore. They, as a couple, have done and said some very harmful things. And in some ways, Harry's worse than Meghan because this is his own family he turned on, and he allowed so many lies to be told about them. And he still won't take those lies back. He won't apologize for any of what he and Meghan have done. The bridges back to the royal family are burned, and it's about time that he came to terms with that. So Meghan cannot be blamed for everything. I mean, I understand that she controls him, but still, he has got to take responsibility. He is not a child. He chose this life, and you don't get to change your mind at a later day because, oh, the two of you failed at becoming billionaires. Harry needs to be blamed for his behavior towards his late grandparents, not only as a family member, but also as a sovereign, a monarch. And you know, he missed out on the memorial of Prince Philip. That is also not a forgivable action. Well, folks, that's the information and analysis on the topic of the British public warning Prince Harry that they will never forgive him while he's married to Meghan Markle. What do you think about this whole issue? Please leave a comment to let us know. And don't forget to support us with a like, share, and subscribe to the channel.